All right, welcome in. AJ Let's Talk Sports podcast and YouTube, and we have college football tomorrow. Ohio State is taking on Nebraska. So as Nebraska prepares to face Ohio State, the Cornhuskers hold a 5-2 record by a promising second-year head coach, Matt Rule, who has stabilized the program after a series of disappointing seasons. Despite a recent heavy loss to Indiana, the team remains optimistic about achieving their first winning season since 2016, with notable players like freshman quarterback Dylan Riola, who has shown flashes of potential despite his struggles leading the way. Now, Nebraska's strong run defense has been a key factor in their success this season, allowing them to secure two important Big Ten victories. Now, the Cornhuskers, one of college football's storied programs, are steeped in history. With I didn't know this, with a nickname evolution from starting out, what were they called? The Bug Eaters to the Cornhuskers, reflective of their agricultural roots. Their home, Memorial Stadium, is renowned not only for its rich traditions and record attendance, but also for honoring the sacrifices of veterans. As they prepare for this pivotal matchup against the Buckeyes, Nebraska's fans are hopeful that the team's mix of history, talent, and resilience will translate into a competitive performance. Now, the Ohio State Buckeyes, eager to rebound from their narrow loss to Oregon, face a Nebraska Cornhusker team that is struggling after a heavy defeat to Indiana. Now, with a record of 5-2, and two, Nebraska has shown vulnerabilities on both sides of the ball, particularly in their recent performance where they allowed 56 points. The Buckeyes, fueled by frustration from their last game, are expected to exploit these weaknesses, especially given their offensive prowess. Quarterback Will Howard may find ample opportunities to pass against a Nebraska defense that has struggled to contain opponents. Now, defensively, Ohio State is poised for a stronger outing against a Cornhuskers offense that has been ineffective. Now, scoring just 21 points in their last 22 games. Freshman quarterback Dylan Riola, who previously committed to Ohio State, may face intense pressure in a hostile environment, adding to his challenges. Now, given the current trajectory of both teams, Ohio State is favored to dominate this matchup. However, a failure to do so could raise serious questions about their championship aspirations. In the upcoming matchup between the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Ohio State Buckeyes, the statistics heavily favor Ohio State, which is predicted to win by a significant margin. Now, Nebraska, struggling to reach bowl eligibility and facing a tough schedule, is coming off a blowout loss and has seen its offense falter, averaging just 20.2 points against Power 4 teams. Despite their offensive woes, Nebraska's strong defense has kept them competitive in many games, holding opponents to low scores. The Cornhuskers have a slim 8.5 chance of winning, and Ohio State favored at 91.5%. Now, however, the potential for a closer game exists due to Ohio State's upcoming clash with Penn State, which might lead them to adopt a conservative strategy after an early lead. The prediction of this game, I have... Ohio State 31, Nebraska 13, suggesting that while Ohio State is expected to dominate, Nebraska defense could help them cover the spread. So there is my thoughts and facts and figures of Ohio State versus Nebraska. And we already talked about their losses and all that stuff. Now I have the over-under uh, here is the spread's 25. So Ohio State really needs to dominate at home. And we'll see how Ryan Day does. Now over-under is 47 and a half. Give me Ohio State. And give me the spread. I, mean, I know I said I was going to pick it under, but I'm going to do the over and pick them. So Notre Dame taking on Navy. That's coming on at noon at the same time on ABC. Navy is undefeated for the first time in a while. And they're ranked for the first time in a while. Don't ask me when. So I'm just going to do the real quick here. We did Ohio State and Nebraska. Now we're just going to do a real quick show here for the college football pickums. Just picking spread and the over-unders. That's how I always do. So Navy is at home. Navy has a really powerful offense. They're doing really well. Horvath, 888 yards, 10 touchdowns and one INT. Horvath is also the leading rusher, 621 yards with 10 touchdowns. He's a beast. Watch out for him. Watch him. Uh, Heidenreich. Heidenreich? Heidenreich. Heinrich, 485 yards receiving and five touchdowns. So spread is 13 and a half. Over under is 15 and a half. Give me Navy. 
First and foremost, thank you for watching and listening to AJ Let's Talk Sports on YouTube and podcast. Check out X Vape. Yes, X Vape. Use the code SPOOKY. You get 10% off for shipping orders over 50 bucks. There's best sellers such as Rofu, it's a dry herb, Mambo dry herb flower. You got Dabster editions. You got Cheech and Chong Mambo. But did you know that they can be used for a variety of other herbs and materials as well? Rob Ruckus. I cannot recommend this product enough. I've known the folks at X Vape for a few years now, and I know they make and stand behind their quality product for people at a reasonable price as well. Check it out. Click on the link on my link tree. Click on the X Vape. Get your 10% off. Use code SPOOKY and get you some vaping on. We're going with Illinois versus Oregon in Eugene. Oregon coming off of a win. We already talked about that. A narrow win. And we only want to talk about all the uh, things that went on with that game because the clock kept going, all this crap. Anyways, I'm not making excuses. Oregon one by one in Eugene. So Illinois going into Eugene, 22 and a half point favorites. 22, I said 22 and a half. Give me Illinois with Brett Billima on the spread. 54 and a half over under. Give me the over. It's going to be a pretty good passing clinic for Gabriel, and he's going to be rushing it, so you got to have a quarterback spy on him at all times. But that's going to be on CBS at 3.30. Watch that after the House State game. So Illinois gets the win on the spread, but Oregon will win the game. Next, Missouri, Alabama. In Tuscaloosa at the same time, as the Illinois game, but I would probably watch the Illinois-Oregon game. I like that because it's Big Ten. Anyways, screw the SEC. Now, Missouri's taking on Alabama. Alabama's 5-2. I think with another loss, they're out. They shouldn't even be in contention at anyways. They have two losses. They shouldn't even be in the top 20. I don't know why they put them there in the 15 because they love them some SEC. Now, Alabama's actually favored by 17.5. Give me Missouri. And over-under is 50.5. Give me over. But I think Missouri's offense is going to cook with Cook with 1,545 yards, seven touchdowns, and one INT. And Noel is going to be rushing all over the place. So hopefully the offensive line, it all starts in the trenches, boys. Missouri's offensive line and defensive line need to dominate in Tuscaloosa. Give me Missouri on the spread. All right, here we go. Texas, Vanderbilt. Now I picked Texas because I'm kind of liking Texas. Quinn Ewers used to play uh, be at Ohio State and now they started Arch Manning so I don't know who's getting nod I'm sure Arch Manning will get the nod on this to start they're going to be in Vanderbilt which is in Nashville Tennessee by the way 76 degrees sunny uh, look for Pavia Pavia to pass and run the same play same offensive kind of play that the quarterback runs in uh, Navy Pavia is going to be running and throwing the ball so this is going to be on the SEC Network at 415. So give me Texas, but they're supposed to win by 18 and a half. But I want to go ahead and take it because Texas is going to make a statement because Vanderbilt beat Alabama. So look for Texas to make a statement with the over-under with 51 and a half. Give me the over. Texas wins by 20. Domination. Arch Manning is going to go off with over 250. I'll say 250. Over-under 250 passing yards. Give me Arch Manning over 250. All right. There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Love you guys. God bless. Tip the waitress.